60 Minutes Overtime. In Mark Esper's new book, A Sacred Oath, the former defense secretary describes a May 2020 meeting between a combative President Trump and the Joint Chiefs. It became so tense, Esper said that one of the four-star officers told him later that he researched the 25th Amendment. He said to me, you know, Mr. Secretary, I was so alarmed by the president's behavior, it was so unhinged, that the next morning I got up after a sleepless night and started researching the 25th Amendment. It was a, a shocking revelation for me, too, this to hear him the, say that. This is a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. A member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, yeah. Got up and was researching the 25th Amendment. Right, to give some context. There's a meeting planned for, I think it's May 9th, on a Saturday in the Cabinet Room. And the purpose is to talk about how we are planning and preparing and equipping to deal with China in the 21st century. And so the meeting begins a little bit late. We all sit down. He, he does a curt greeting to everybody. And within a few minutes, he is on a tirade, uh, yelling about this issue or that issue. The Allies are ripping us off. NATO's terrible. The US military is a third-rate military. We can't beat Afghanistan. Uh, how are you going to be able to deal with the Chinese? And this goes on for about 20 minutes, berating uh, everybody in the room. Who was in the room? So, you know, myself. Uh, Mike Pompeo, Robert O'Brien, but it was directed at DOD. And so you have all the uniformed Joint Chiefs, but he's pretty much berating them. And so here are these men who had served their country for decades, who in combat, who sacrificed so much, are being berated by the Commander-in-Chief. I just thought it was a terrible display. But you never thought that it warranted consideration of the 25th Amendment? At that time, no. I, you know, the, a, a lot of the President's behavior and actions and talk were alarming and disturbing, but I never thought it reached that threshold.